um, Salem Press, which is a um, publisher where we have um, actual physical copies of these books, but we also have the digital copies. These are really nice, and we've sort of broadened uh, what we're looking at. The, the um, password for this is Beverly Panther. If you just put in Panther, it'll take you to a different school that is not as good as us. Now, you can do the general search here, but again, you're going to get a lot more topics than you definitely, I mean, than you probably want. Although, Alice Paul, I love her. We'll use the general search just to see what it looks like. Okay, and 277, that's a lot, but what's up here is great. Her testimony before the House Judiciary Committee. And then we get stuff like Alice Moore Dunbar, who's a, a fine American, but they're just pulling in, you know, anytime it says Alice or Paul. But uh, they tend to um, give you your search by weight, so the ones that have the most Alice Paul. So let's look at uh, this one from Defining Documents in American History, which is my favorite series here at the library. If you click on that, it'll bring you to, um, so this is the 1910s, and all of these defining documents, they look at a primary source and then they break it down. So it tells you when it was written, who wrote it, what the genre is, it gives you a little overview, why is this a defining moment, biography of the author, then there's the document itself, which, um, you know, they've typed <laughs> Didn't look this good when it first came out. There's also a glossary if there's information that might not be sort of general knowledge. And then an analysis of the document. There's essential themes. And then there's further reading if you're interested. It also gives you the, um, the style of citation that you'll need down the bottom. So this is a really terrific site. You can also look at it this way. Perhaps not. OK, when you first go in, you can click on a specific um, there's scientific principles, general health principles. I just bought, where is, oh, come on. I just bought a Supreme Court. Oh, here we go. I just bought the U.S. Supreme Court uh, second edition. This is a three-volume set of anything that has to do with court cases. You may just be able to go in there. I saw another, um, let's see, Furman, Furman versus Georgia. And these are conveniently alphabetical, or no, they're not. Rats. Well, let's see. Uh, you are M A N. Berman versus Georgia. So you can go in there, click on that, and it brings you to this section from the U.S. Supreme Court. Okay, it's not a lot, but it gives you an overview. Um, so there are a lot of different ways that you can use uh, the Salem Press resources. They are wonderful. You're welcome, Beverly High School. All right. Um, there's another database that I believe you can get to through our website, but you don't need to if you can remember the words Boston and Public Library. Um, so here's the Boston Public Library's link, and here's a tutorial. What's that? Well, that's weird. Okay, uh, here's the Boston Public Library. Uh, the the um, database that, well, they have a list of history and political science databases, which are all kinds of helpful, but the one that we're really looking at is JSTOR. And if you click on that, you have to have a Boston Public Library card and a PIN number, which I'll show you in a minute. You can log in. I have mine saved here. Um, let's see. Let's try Betty for Dan. Betty... What am I doing? Betty, F-R-E-I-D-A-N. Who knows? Who knows what's going to come up? Um, so there are a lot of journal articles, feminist thought, a comprehensive introduction, um, vehicles of feminism. So it looks like this. these are pretty good. You are probably going to want to avoid the ones that are reviews because those are book reviews unless you are interested in um, finding other books on this um, topic. Okay, so these look pretty specific, um, but yeah, but something like this, um, you know, Feminist Thought, a Comprehensive Introduction, that's, well, it's a review though. And this might not have been the best search for JSTOR, but for certain things, um, it will work very well. All right, ooh, Sedition Acts. Let's try that. I just want to see what comes up now in this brief. 
not as brief as I had hoped. S E D I T A O N A C T S. Okay, let's see if anything comes up. Okay, 194 is a quite a reasonable um, response for JSTOR. So, oh yeah, this looks like it's going to be uh, quite interesting. All right, I'm not sure. Let's see. Let's just take a look and see what comes up. Oh, one thing about JSTOR. So this is um, this is from 1994. It's an academic uh, look at this. It, it down you can download the PDF. It takes a long time, so just be aware your computer's not being wonky. JSTOR um, does that by design. It's very irritating, but they have great resources. All right, the last thing that I want to talk to you about is the internet. I'm sure you've been there before. Google, we're just going to put in Google because why the heck not? Um, you can just use your toolbar, but I like it to look pretty. Okay, so let's look at the Ku Klux Klan. I can only imagine the horror that's going to come up when we do this. Okay, so yeah, we got the Wikipedia page. Okay, this is not too bad, although Google does chart how you search, so Google knows that I'm looking for stuff for research papers because that's what I'm always looking for. Um, so mine doesn't look too ugly, but you might find some nasty stuff here, and it's very important to discern uh, what you're looking at um, when you're clicking on results. So just do be aware of that. Now, this is Wikipedia is the first thing that comes up. You're not going to bother with that. You're beyond that. Um, certain things like PBS is quite reasonable. The Atlantic is quite reasonable. Um, I don't know what this 13.org is. Oh, it's a, a public television station in New York, the New York Times. So these are all, <laughs> this is a completely unrealistic and pretty good search term. Um, things that you want to be aware of, you can go to settings, go to advanced search, and down here at site or domain, um, if you put in uh, EGU, you're going to bring up education. These are all from, um, you know, University of Washington, Brookings Institute. Um, all of these are going to be from uh, colleges, universities, University of Minnesota. So, these should be citable. You should be able to find the person responsible for these. Um, you do want to be careful when using educational sites that you're looking at um, actual um, historians' work rather than student work. Um, it, it's up to Ms. Brotherton if she's going to allow you to cite student work. I mean, if you're citing it as student work. But generally, there are enough in this section of American history. It, there's so many rich resources that you kind of don't have to worry about dicey ones. Um, you can also uh, put in GOV, which is quite handy because it will bring you up to government sites. Um, so you've got the FBI records. You've got um, the House of Representatives. You've got these are all um, government uh I almost said subsidized. These are government approved, or these are um, a lot of historical documents. Um, you will find that Library of Congress and the Smithsonian uh, have really nice resources. So that is something you can also look at. All right, this has gone on long enough. If you have any specific questions, uh, feel free to come to the library. I'm always here and happy to help, and I hope that this was helpful to you. Oh, that's Siri. That's not ending this recording.